So it's that lovely time of year, Christmassy. The chateau's looking all Christmassy. You can see this one from the roads. Um, and there's a good reason it's out here. We'll explain that in a minute for you. Um, but we thought we'd show you around today because we haven't done a full tour since it's been completed. We haven't shown you the third floor. And there is another slight problem. Terry had a small accident, didn't you, Terence? I did, yes, just a small accident. Terry's gone and broke his hand. So he's broke two of his metacarpals. Um, being a doyle, weren't you, Terence? I was. I was in the barn looking for some stuff and I slipped and fell from the top of the barn down onto the floor. Yep. And that's the result. <laughs> <laughs> so somebody used to point out last night his hand was swollen. Yes, it was. We've been in the hospital, had it checked. We've just left it a couple of days to see how we've got on. Um, and they've confirmed today he's broke two of his fingers. Um, so he's going to be potted up for the next couple of weeks. So obviously we're not working today. So we thought we'd do this for you, show you around and show you our, our home at Christmas, basically. Yes, yeah, yeah. Well, obviously it's good because you can get a, an idea of how the shuttle's all sort of pieced together. Um, that's why we've done the, the 400 and the 401 tour, so you could see how the rooms link to each other all in sort of one video, really. And like you said, obviously we haven't shown the whole third floor completely finished. So and obviously we've had a chance to live up here now and then actually enjoy this space so we can we can talk about it and feel it. Let's yeah, have a look. And feel it, yeah. Corridor that goes to the side, haven't we? Yep, so you've got either way. So this way goes down to our bedroom and the office, and this way goes to the bathroom and the kitchen. And straight through is the cosiest room in here, and it's just lovely. This is our salon. Yeah. And it is, again, this is an unrecognizable room. Those of you that have watched this from the start, you'll remember this. You'll remember the cupboards that we had in the corner here, the roof, there was a big hole in the roof here. Um, we've had to redo all the walls in here. All the roofs and walls pretty much on the third floor have completely been redone just because they were in such a bad condition. Um, we didn't have any choice with it, so we've had to... It, it's not a, a wholly bad thing um, because it means we've been able to insulate and properly insulate up here. And the difference up here compared to the rest of the chateau is it's night and day. This fire um, does literally warm the whole of the third floor. And I know that sounds crazy, but the roofs are only like this high. So it's sensible, it's good, and it's ideal for us to live in. And you might think that this is a small space and looking around, you might not get it. Those of you that have been here, there's a few of these that you see in the chat. Um, we, you've been here, you've walked around here with us. So you understand that this really isn't a small space. Um, and it, it's not with the footprint for like how our apartment is a whole footprint of the chateau yeah so yeah the ceilings are small but we have the whole footprint of the chateau which is sizable <laughs> yeah 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 so it's not small when you look at the rooms they do look small yeah but that's just because of the ceilings yeah but like i said the rooms are still decent sized rooms they're good well this is what's this 5b5 isn't it 5b5 four and a half by four and a half this one yeah. Sure. But again, that, that's a, a good size living room. And yeah. The reason that the Christmas tree isn't in here, and that is because of this. This likes the Christmas trees, but she doesn't like them standing up. She prefers them laid down. <laughs> and it was only about four times last year. And she looks so innocent, bless her. I wouldn't do that. <laughs> yes, you would. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> and some of you may remember that we cut holes in the walls here. The very first walls that I'd done with French plaster and new techniques and Terry 
after I was done said, yeah, you need to cut two holes in the walls. Granted, no, it was the right decision. It yeah. looks lovely. It does, it just gives a bit of warmth to the room. At the time Obviously, I was going to murder you. Yeah, so if you hadn't seen when we were actually doing this, the two panels there and there are two wardrobe doors. Um, that we, the wardrobe was falling to bits at the back, basically. Well, we was just left over. We bought the bed and the wardrobe came with it. Um, so we just needed to, well, we wanted to use it really. Yeah. And that was a, a good way of using it up, wasn't it? And salvaging it, so yeah. yeah. Gives us some nice panelling now. Like I said, the time I wanted to kill him, I've got over it now. Yeah. So I'm a year and a half ago, so it's all good. But I'll take you round and show you through. So obviously out of here we go right. And through our beautiful hallway that we have lots of family photos, lots of Titanic photos, lots of pictures that you remember John brought us. Yeah. So we've got all them up because they're just a lovely, lovely addition. Yeah, they're nice. Like I said, we haven't completely finished the hallway yet. We need to get a carpet runner to go yeah. right the way down and some furniture. Well, with, with us still having dirty feet every now and again, it's not worth it right now. No. And obviously then you come into our, our lovely bedroom. And this again, it's just, it's it's perfect for us. And again, the, the insulation over, this is the side of the shuttle that has the 400 suite underneath us. And again, the difference since we've insulated underneath, because this now has two layers of insulation underneath us as well. So we've got the rock wall between the, in the wall in the floor cavity, and then we've got the insulated plasterboard under it as well. The difference that that's made to this when we warm this up now is just, oh, it's, it's bliss, isn't it, Terry? Um, it's a bit warmer. I wouldn't say it's bliss. Well, compared to, compared to living in minus 10, when yeah. it's minus 10 outside and it's minus 10 in here. Yeah. <laughs> Chateaus are never going to be warm, no. so if you're ever thinking of buying a chateau, they're never ever going to be warm. I don't think I've ever been in a warm chateau. No, they don't do. This is cosy though. This, this is, is cosy, yeah, it's getting there. Now yeah. we've got all the insulation in, it's getting a lot better. Yeah. Um, but just be prepared that <laughs> you're going to be cold. <laughs> and it's, it's central France. Now the one thing I never ever, I was talking about this to someone the other day, I never understand, ever, never ever understood like how it was warmer in the UK than it is here. And it is warmer in the UK than it is here because you've got the sea around you. We're in land France and when it gets cold, when the temperature drops, the temperature drops and there's plenty of times so where it's been what, minus five, minus 10 here. Yeah. I don't even remember, remember that like two or three times in my life in the UK, whereas it seems to be a regular thing here. So it, it's been really important that we get this space because we realized it wouldn't have been doable. If we were to stay in the caravans, it just wouldn't have been doable. We wouldn't have been able to carry on with this sort of work and the amount of work that we've had to do we need to be able to down tools at the end of the day and relax properly yeah and this has been perfect to be able to do that yeah and as we were talking about wardrobe all the wardrobe got used this is your top of your wardrobe it is and we made a bed canopy with it or cl de lee <clears throat> and it's it's brilliant it's turned out really well. Again, it's just, this room isn't obviously, you've seen this, isn't how the chateau is going to look. This isn't how the rest of it, this is just our space. And this was a case of this, up here, it was a renovation. It, we weren't trying to restore up here because it was <laughs> it was too far gone. Well, it was, there wasn't anything really to keep, because like, no. this was the old servants' quarters. So obviously we've just created something that's homely for us. Yeah. And back then we just needed to get done because we needed somewhere <laughs> to live. But again, this this was more of a renovation rather than a restoration. And, and it, we had to like say walls, floors, roofs in here, everything, everything had to be redone. Yeah. And this room is where all the magic happens. So all the videos that you see, everything that gets done, this is Terry sat at his little desk here. Yeah, my little his, office. Yeah, this so. is his home office and <laughs> you can't see it right now, but he's got a little, What's this, Terry? It's my little foot warmer. <laughs> Told you shutters aren't warm. <laughs> Keep your tootsies cool. Keep warm. Yeah. When yeah. I'm sat there, I'll have a little cup of tea. Bless you, bro. Walking here, it is, it is just such a lovely little room. Yeah. Um, it, it just does the job. And again, the amount of work you don't see, but the amount of work that just, even into this room alone, the amount of work that went into it yeah, was unbelievable. Was the amount that went... When we, f I still remember when we first came up here for the very first time, there was a sleeping bag hanging in, what was that window in there? Yeah. There was nothing on the walls. It was literally, it was straight onto the tiles. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. You could see down, if you look down, you could see straight down into outside. So again, both of these end rooms were the same. I don't think they've ever been like used as rooms as such. They might just be in storage. Yeah. It's... But there's never been like properly no. rooms, no. rooms. And then in our cabinet, we've got all our old, Postcards 
for La La Cell, the Chateau. All the collection that we've been. Yeah, got some pottery that Rob gave me. That was from the Titanic film set. Yeah. That's good. Get very happy. Yeah. And this room is obviously, you'll have seen this. This is my mum and dad's room. This is where they come and stay. And we needed something for them, obviously, to be in caravans isn't great. Mum's like me. She she likes the warm weather, so you'll mainly see her over here in the summer and stuff when it's not too, too cold. <laughs> so again, this, this is just a perfect space, but this was just one big open room. And um, for those of you that didn't see it, this was just one big open space. There was a sleeping bag hanging in here because this window had gone completely, it completely eroded. Um, and they'd put, for whatever reason, a sleeping bag in there to try and stop the water that basically soaked up all the water and killed the floor down there. Yeah. <laughs> um, and then we decided to obviously split it into two to make it usable and give us an extra bedroom up here. It's just, it's a it's a perfect space, isn't it? Well, yeah, like I said, this is, it doesn't get used a massive amount. So to give it the whole space, it was just going to be wasted. Mm -hmm. Where at least now we've created two rooms. Yeah. And obviously with it being an office, I don't need a window in. Um, if anything, it's better not having a window in because then... He has no idea what time it is. No, so when I'm doing the videos, <laughs> they lock me away. We do. We do. <laughs> With my one hand. <laughs> I get fed. We don't. I don't want to see in the comments you've been horrible to tell you. We don't do that. Yeah. They poke through this little holes, a slice of bread for me. <laughs> <laughs> I can't swear on this, but I really want to. <laughs> so again, all down here as well, though these are all used now. We've got users, uses for all of them. So this is mum and dad's closet. Yeah, it's our wardrobe. That's our worky clothes store, so that we're not typing dirt right the way through the chateau everywhere. Our electric cupboard, our cleaning cupboard. And log store. And log store. And our snack cupboard. Jonathan's favourite one. This is Jonathan's favourite, and I know it's on staff, but... I'm not looking in because it's the best. No, it's not. Just <laughs> show it people is. in. It's full of snacks. Snacks. <laughs> snacks and everything. Snacks and crisps and treats. Yeah. So that's our little snack store. This one's our little extra kitchen rollover, so for all my big pots and pans and stuff that I don't use all the time. It's perfect. Oh, I'll go in here first. I was going to say, what room are you doing next? I'm so excited to get in the kitchen, that's all it is. Oh. And obviously our bathroom. Now this, this is probably the room where we spend more time than any, realistically, because it's just, it is such a wonderful space just to be able to come soak in that bath when you've had a hard day, when you're freezing cold, you get in that bath, that bath just fixes everything, doesn't it, Terry? It does. It does. It's, it is an amazing bath, just yeah. to come and relax. And for those of you that haven't heard the story, this bath cost us one pound, didn't it, Terry? It did. You yep. got it on eBay? I did. And it cost us, it was in Redden or down in the south somewhere, I think it was Redden, near Redden. Um, and it cost us £80 to get it transported to the UK. So that's good, £80 and for a bath. It's in the UK, sorry. It's £81 it cost us in total, which was absolutely brilliant. So why did this bath end up cost us five and a half grand, Terry? <laughs> 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 Done the measurements with my gammy hands. <laughs> <laughs> Terry did his usual measurements and the bath didn't fit in the bathroom. So we ended up having to take a wall out in our old house, um, make the bathroom bigger and just so the bath could fit in. Best decision we ever made. It's not a criticism in any way, shape or form because when we moved, we, the one thing that we both said that was coming out of that house was the bath wasn't it? Yes, yes, so we brought that with us because it was amazing. It's just the best bath in the world. Uh, yes, and again, the amount of work that's gone into to this room alone is, is unbelievable. Again, more pictures that John brought us. That he's, he's got some taste and we, it fits in so perfectly here. It's as it if he knew exactly what we needed. Well, he didn't think we'd use a single thing <coughs> and I think we've used everything. Every single one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't think there's a single one that we haven't used. No, um, no. no. Just, so I just, love that one. Yeah, this is an old map. Uh, of Austria. Um, so it's Vienna in Austria, so you've got the Danube um, and just the old town, how it was all laid out. I think it's just a lovely, I do quite often just sit and look at it and look through it and try and spot new things like where's Wally? Yeah. <laughs> where's Waldo for you American ones? Um, but again, big shower, we needed the big shower because the amount of dirt that comes off us when you've done a, a dirty day in here is, um, yeah, it's unreal. Sometimes yeah. it's just not possible to get straight in the bath because the bath had just set. <laughs> And this is the piece de resistance. Okay. This is so our... the room that you haven't all seen completely finished. Nope. Um, is the kitchen. Yep. So while Ash is cooking, I get to chill out on the sofa and watch our favourite TV programme. <laughs> you might enjoy this one as well. Done that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Welcome back. <laughs> we get no. some useful information off this programme. Again, people <laughs> said to us about this being a small space. And every single person that watches our videos that's come here has yep. walked into here and went, oh my God, this space is huge. Yeah, it is. And We're again, obviously looking up, like you've got the double height in here with all of the beams exposed, which is just amazing. Yeah. But we've managed to... The amount we fit in, we've got a fridge and a freezer. Like, it's yeah. massive. We've got our bins are all hidden away. We've got a dishwasher. Um, so everything's just so yeah. well hidden and again this is purely all down to Exena because we went in with an idea of what we wanted they basically said no that's not going to work do this yeah and they laid out this space so perfectly for for what we need and well to get like the table and chairs in because i yeah. was worried when we were getting this island that the table and chairs we weren't going to be able to get that no nope. and we weren't going to be able to get a sofa in and it's it's all fit in everything it, the, yeah. the space is just perfect. we've actually what's the most we've, we've cooked we've had eight up here haven't we yeah eating all at once so again this isn't a this isn't a tiny kitchen i know some of you think it is this is probably twice the size of the kitchen i had in the uk at least yeah 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 i've got yeah, more workshop space i've got more cupboards everything's better robin jay's cooking up here doesn't he yeah, yeah he's, he's got all of the workspace <laughs> And uh, I am one of them when I cook, I like to use every pot in the kitchen. So having the dishwasher as well just means it can all go in there and be forgot about. And I've done, I don't look like I've left like a, a whirlwind behind me when I've been cooking, yeah. which, which happens sometimes. But now, but like I said, it's absolutely amazing. It's all fit together, all of the kitchen units. Yeah. And got like some of our nice little. And as good as we are, we're doing the jobs that we do. We do as much as we can. And we looked, the one thing we did try and do was look to see if we could put a kitchen together up here, to see if we could do something like this and we couldn't have come close. No. Uh, we, we genuinely couldn't have come close and it realistically would have cost us more than what we paid for this kitchen Yeah, it would uh, have. by the time we put it together. Yeah, it would. But now, like I said, it's all come together. So like I said, obviously you can see how it's all placed together. Yeah. Can so go we'll back in your favorite yeah, room. Yeah, I want to go and sit next to the fire. <laughs> <laughs> Even like down to the smallest details. So like all our light switches and all the porcelain ones so they look like the originals i think we just we just i think we take it for granted now when people come and see us when they do come and visit when people rock up here i think they're the ones that notice all these lovely little touches yeah all a little bit and it's just it's just perfect and he will lay here all day long and he mm -hmm. absolutely loves it and it's just it's just so perfect for us so we hope you've got a, a better understanding of, of where we are now and, and how we live here. Because for us, like I say, it, 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 this is the perfect living space. It isn't small by any stretch. This is probably, as square foot or square meterage goes, I'd say it's at least double in the house that we had in the UK. And that wasn't a small house. So we're, we're more than happy with it. It works for us. If you've enjoyed today's video, please hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and make sure you've got the bell clicked for notifications. And we'll see you all on Christmas Eve. See you soon. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> See you soon. Bye. If you'd like to be part of our journey and help restore the chateau, then please join us on Patreon, where you'll be part of our journey, receive a piece of the history, and get exclusive videos.